Rated R Slagathor here, a.k.a. Dustin Young 86 uh, You've been getting a lot of requests on how to pop an elite torso. So, finally, I will make a video so everyone will stop asking. Uh, what you will need is a razor blade. does not need to be this fancy, but I use it a lot, so I paid a little bit of money for this one. A flathead screwdriver. I use the same screwdriver for every single custom. And a pair of gloves. You need a pair of gloves. Safety first, because I have hurt my hands so many times without these. Let's start by putting on our gloves. The gloves cost maybe 10 bucks at Walmart. They're in the men's section. If you're not a man, guess you're not seeing them because you're not shopping there. Okay, uh, first you're going to take your razor blade and you're going to cut along the seam of the neck. You just want to get it in there a little bit so that way it opens up when you pop the torso just cut it down a little you just need it to get in there a little bit then you're going to take your screwdriver I go to the front of the torso a lot of people say go into the back see that it's in there and what you do you pry sometimes one side doesn't work so you gotta go to the other side Hear that magical sound? That magical sound means that this torso is now open. And just like that, we have two parts of a torso. Now the bottom part gets a little bit more tricky. By the way, no gloves. I would have I would be bleeding right here right now because the screwdriver got me. Uh, next part, you're going to take the razor blade. You see the seams right here on the side you're going to cut down on each side just to the crotch then you want to fold it out like this a little bit now first you can try to take the screwdriver and stick it into one of the seams that you just cut and stick it in as far as you can see it's all the way in all the way in and then turn up oh, went flying and it came apart just like that and since I'm making a custom right now I will show you how to replace a torso same video bottom part of the torso okay uh, I am missing a piece so give me a minute the newer torsos don't have the pieces that you need to make them attach to older torsos so you will need to have an extra handy uh, here is a little piece this is my custom Ultimo Dragon I'm working on so what I do is I put this piece here Whoop, fell. put this piece here then I put the front of the torso on because that will hold that in place the back of the torso on make sure that it's going to hold snug Open the super glue. You see? Opening super glue. I'm going to put glue on each one of the pegs to make sure that it will hold. Now, there is a trick to this. You want to go ahead, make sure you close your glue because it will dry up on you. You put your torso back together. And you need to spin it, spin it around in circles, so that way it does not stick, and you have, and your waist is now immobile. You need to spin it just a little bit to get it right. This one's a little loose, but it'll tighten up as soon as the glue dries. Next, now that that's together, see that it's together now. Looks good. Okay. Next step, what you do is you're going to take the upper torso, this part right here, the upper torso. And there should be a neck peg and a little like rectangle with a ball on it. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like that, right there. 
So you go ahead and you put that, you'll take it, you'll put the torso on forward and you'll hold this little piece in place and rock it back so it doesn't, it doesn't get messed up. See, I'm going to take these arms that I got earlier, put these together. And I'm going to get them into place. You see this now? Back of the torso, the arms are on. Okay. This is what we're dealing with. You take your glue and again, you see the pegs. We're going to put glue in the pegs. That just, people say not to do that, but I very rarely take my customs apart, so I feel safe doing it. And the customs, and my customs tend to hold better that way. I mean, you don't have to put it on the pegs, you can put it along the seams, whatever way you want to go about it, but Mattel glues the pegs. Well, they're supposed to anyways, half the time they don't even work. But Mattel will glue the pegs, so it's up to you which way you want to go about it. However, I glue the pegs and I have no problem with my custom staying together. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the back half and snap it on. Make sure your seams are closed on both sides. Make sure your arms are in. If you need to, you need to push a little to make sure that everything goes together smoothly. So now, you don't really need to apply pressure if it's the first time you've ever cracked this, this, the torso. But if it's been opened once or twice, there you go. There is now an elite. Ultimo Dragon waiting for his head and chest plate. Ready to go. Look at that. Seems a little soft, but I think it's okay. Because you're not going to be looking at the sides or the back, or the sides. You're just going to be looking at the front and the back. There you go. You now know how to crack, replace, and add another cust and add another torso to another body um once again follow me on instagram dustin young 86 uh hit me up on paulbonomo.proboards.com rated our slag author need any more tips just send me a message thanks guys